Okay, so a few people have uh, commented on my A-level revision tips videos um, for me to upload a video on my A-level revision notes. So basically this video is just an example of um, the notes that I made during my time doing A-levels and I'll just show you how I structured my notes, how I used the different colours and stuff like that and how I integrated the specification into some of my notes. But yeah, just keep watching and hopefully I'll have but yeah, just keep watching and uh, hope it helps. So these are basically my biology notes that I did during my A-levels. Um, I just want to give you an idea of how I structured them, what I wrote, and you know the, the use of colours and everything. <clears throat> Here, as you can see, you know I've got the titles in different colours and um, bullet points and numbers um, of the different points. And the most important thing about my biology notes is that there was a lot of diagrams. Now here I've got two diagrams and these were the most, I would, by far these are the most important things because with biology you have to, Im you have to see it as an image to sort of remember it easier. Um, I found just memorizing words was too hard. So for biology I, I used to love drawing pictures. Any chance I got I, I used to draw pictures. So again here I've got pictures and here I've got more pictures. So make sure you draw quite a lot of pictures for biology. It helps you remember things easier and the use of different colors as well because biology can get quite um, you know the content can be quite heavy so you want to use different colors switch it up switch your notes up and um, just so you remember all of it and everything again here I've got quite a colorful page and um, so now the, what happened here was I went through and made my notes and then I went through a month later or so and had a look at the specification there was a few points that I'd missed out on the specification so these are what I wrote in red so for example I forgot to write down the definition of homeostasis but in the specification it says we needed to know that so I wrote these down in red points from the specification and then the day before the exam I went through my, all my notes with a highlighter and highlighted things that I didn't know or uh, you know I thought were a bit hard so there and there you know just go through with a highlight of the day or two before your exam and just highlight things in your notes here again another set of notes from my biology you know again diagrams bullet points headings use of different colors now this is a bad example here I've just got everything in black and except for down here but you know this is quite boring to read imagine trying to revise this it, it can get quite boring and it you know I don't see myself remembering any of this stuff now what you see here might be a little bit scary but it's not what happened was uh, I'd finished all my revision a week before and you know I just didn't know what else to do so I got bits of paper and I had the book right next to me the revision guide and I was using my hand to cover all the information but I was just looking at the heading and for every heading that I saw, for example, glycolysis, I wrote down everything that I could remember. So, you know, just the whole pathway. Um, and then I went on to the link reaction, Krebs cycle, and then oxidative phosphorylation. And then just little things that I could remember about NAD or uh, coenzyme A. And I tried to draw the structure of an ATP molecule. Literally everything that came to my head, I just tried to write down and draw. And that's why this looks so messy, but it helps. It just, this gives you comfort, before the exam, this gives you confidence that, you know what, when you look at this from far, I actually know quite a lot, quite a lot of stuff. So, you know, it, it kind of boosts your confidence looking at this and thinking, wow, there's so much information that I actually know, um, which I didn't think I would be able to learn. And then, you know, just, if you're bored, try and write down some mnemonics. I don't know, this one was a bit stupid. Can't do five, do four, forty. I don't know. It was, it worked. Cause I, then I can remember it. C for, uh, C for citrate, five decarboxylation, which was D for decarboxylation and then five and then decarboxylation again and then four and then another four and then oxaloacetate. It's stupid, but it helps you remember things and then you know use of diagrams again but these are basically my notes um, thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and bye for now